ICU nurse, rookie to ready, basic ventilator concepts. Part one, because this is definitely gonna require a few different videos to get through all the stuff I wanna talk about. I'm really gonna be focusing on some terms that aren't discussed enough, in my opinion, and how it's gonna be specifically applicable to the patients that we're caring for in the ICU. The first term that I wanna start with is positive inexpiratory pressure, also known as PEEP. PEEP is the pressure that stays in the alveoli at inexpiration to help stent those alveoli open, which will improve gas exchange and thus oxygenation. If you're going up and up and up on your patient's FiO2 without having a change in their PaO2 values or their SpO2, then the patient may need an increase in PEEP. Now that's a good thing about PEEP, but one of the downfalls to it is that as PEEP values increase in our patient, because we have that additional pressure in the alveoli, this can run the risk of having our patient experiencing something like barotrauma, which is a form of ventilator associated lung injury. This is why when patients are on high PEEP, they may choose a different mode of ventilation over a different one. They're gonna be keeping a very close eye on the patient's peak inspiratory pressures as well as peak plateau pressure. Additionally, as PEEP increases on patients, it's gonna result into a decrease of venous return, so the blood returning back to the heart, which could result into a decrease in cardiac output and thus decreased perfusion to our patient's tissues. So PEEP can be really helpful for improving oxygenation, but it doesn't come without its own risks. 